Oh no, Barbarians. <laughs> uh, They're still that's there. Like the worst way of pronouncing that. <laughs> You're so welcome. Hello everyone, welcome to another weekly Imperator stream. As always, I am your community manager, Troy, and with me again today is the wonderful Joachim. Say hi everyone. Hello. Yay. It's a pleasure to be here once again. We are we are wearing the Christmas suit as threatened last time, so we've got the, the tie and everything today. This... <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? It's magnificent. You love it. Oh yeah, it definitely has nothing to do with your suit. No, hold yes. on, let me lower, lower myself down, get a little bit of camera center here. There we go. There we now I'm a, now I'm a human again. We have some fantastic boss sprint action going on here. Uh, we had just finished off the western side of the Black Sea, and we're deciding what to do next. We have, man, we have a 25k army and a 17k army in our borders, which is fantastic. We will hold on to those for a while. Um, We'll have to figure out what to do about that tiny little Thracian outpost in the northwest, but we'll figure that out. Uh, in the meantime, I will let uh, let Joachim take it over. Yeah, I have to admit, I had completely forgotten about this. I yeah. I, um, I keep saying that every week is like a whole new experience, right? Yeah. Um, so I pop in back in, and I'm like, I wonder what happened last time. And then, in, well, last time it was a civil war, this time... It's this rebellious general. It's this guy who's, well, he doesn't like us, at least. No, not a um, disloyal general who made last campaign really irritating because we'd send him somewhere and he was just like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> so, yeah, no. We did sort of start at this, but I, I never really, uh, you know, a lot of it seems to be on the other side, right? So it's yeah. not like uh, too many things we can do before we get to this side of things. And I've yet to get uh, to grab any ships because, well, uh, at some point, I had problems with money, uh, and then afterwards, I was mostly lazy. So, um, yeah, no. I don't think I really have any good excuse, it's just how things turn out. Uh, I think last time we won against Trace, right? Yes, except for that yes. tiny little outcrop that they have up north. Yeah. Yes, I completely missed this one. A little bit awkward, but that's, you know... And I think we're talking about taking over Elysia this time. Hmm. Which one? Ligia. Up on the, oh, the the light blue guys. These guys. No, the to the right. The the light blue guys. That Ligia. You're too far out. The light blue on the the top right of the black sea. Oh yes, these yes, guys. Yes, 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 yes. I, I thought it was I a couldn't... ninja. I was like, no, I couldn't. No, it's Zigia with a with a Z. Yes. Sorry, right? Everyone. These guys. I did say something about ending this little alliance we had yeah. going on because, honestly speaking, they're not really giving me much. No. Um. So I think we'll just do that, and we don't really have to attack them right away. Um, that would probably be a bad idea. Right. Um, seeing as you know, breaking peace treaties, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but we can at least end the alliance, and then we, we were sort of, we were uh, fabricating against somebody the last time. Was it Armenia? Were we fabricating against Armenia last time? I think it was these guys, Cappadocia. Maybe Cappadocia, yeah. Because I think I was sort of considering, um, you know, taking these parts now. Yeah, yeah. Sh straight up, if I had a Christmas hat, I'd be wearing it right now. I, uh, I, I couldn't find my Christmas hat. For those of you that don't know, I moved to, you know, Sweden in July. And in July, I was like, ah, I don't need to bring all my Santa hats. I'll just buy a new one when I get there. And then I got here and forgot to buy a Santa hat. And here we are. Just... So... Embarrassing. The good thing is that this guy is actually the next in line to become our ruler. So, there we go. Now he's loyal. Magic. Oh, 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 somebody asked where I moved from, Joachim. You know what time it is. 
It's Texas time. It's Texas time. That's right. Born and raised in Austin, Texas. Moved all the way across the big, shiny, wet sea to Sweden, where I haven't seen sun in almost a month and couldn't be happier. I mean, honestly speaking, you're probably not going to see it for another two, three months. So yes, I'm so just excited. Get to, just get used to it. It's not going to change. It's, I'm so excited. You, you don't have any idea how exactly wonderfully happy I am. Like, I, I spent the first 30 years of my life fighting the sun, and now that I'm here, I'm like, this is fine. I don't, I don't have to fight the sun anymore. It's fine. One less thing that'll kill me. Oh god, I feel sorry for this guy. He's like yeah. seven years old, and he's going to have a bad time. <laughs> hey there, ruler of Cappadocia. How's your day going? I've got some bad news. So... Right, these are all on. Let's just... Step right up. You're next on Meet the Bosporans. I have to admit, I, uh... I say this every week as well, but I, I feel like it's getting worse and worse getting used to this old UI now that I'm getting used to the new UI. UI. Now you have to deal with the old UI that everybody else has to play with, Joachim. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I know. It is absolutely terrible. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited about winter. Like, I've spent so much of my life just... 50 degree Celsius summers are not anything I would recommend for anybody. So when, when they were like, it's going to be cold... Guys, I haven't put on real pants since I moved here. I've been in shorts in the Swedish winter, and everyone looks at me like I'm crazy. But I just you I'm are so happy that it's cold. Just so happy. And, you know, it's, um, yeah, the the, the, the income tax is whatever. I, I pay taxes, I get health care. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. But, um, I just, I'm so excited to be here and living in my Christmas suit. <laughs> In Swedish winter. As long as you're happy about it, I guess it's fine. I mean... You know, I'm born and raised in Norway, right? So I don't think I can actually move to like a warm country. I think yeah. that would literally kill me. Yeah, I had, an, I had an ex that was from a very cold climate, and she moved to Texas. She was like, what is summer? Does it just never end? And I'm like, oh, it's only August. This is just the worst part. It's going to go for another four months. 138th. We, we won the last Olympiad, so I'm actually pretty pretty excited. Uh, so let's see how that goes. And our little tiny navy floating around in the ocean doing, doing ship things. Yeah, I think this should actually be enough to start uh, transporting our... Uh, is that 9K? Um, is that 9K or rebe rebellious general just wandering around up there? Or... Uh, this is uh, barbarians. No, the nine K. Oh, that's our. Oh, that's our. That's our mercenary arm. Yeah, it's our mercenary arm. Yeah, I sent it up basically just to deal with the barbarians. I, I wasn't sure if they were going to go down or cross. So right. To have right. something that could uh, stop them. So where, where is our rebellious? Now that I, I think of it, where is our rebellious general? Is he just hanging out uh, down he's, there? He's not rebellious anymore. Oh, good, good. We bribed and and buddied up with him enough that. Yeah, basically, he uh, he used to be. Um, one of the pretenders, right? But now he's the primary heir, and he's just suddenly just like, "Oh my God, I'm so so loyal now." You know, everything is working out in this life, oh, so he's happy. Actually, you know what might have done? It might have been that he didn't like our old ruler, and now he likes the new ruler. In any case, he's loyal now. That's rad, I'm though. Happy. Hooray! Like, actually, utilize our army. What a weird concept. Now, we're going to start moving people from the eastern side of uh, Antigonids to the western side of Antigonids. Oh, there's... Hi. Bigger navy than us. How are you? I mean, what's the chances of them intercepting us and killing us while we're at sea? Ha. Huh. That's... Oh. Hello. <clears throat> yeah, that's not good, guys. Uh, I mean, what's the odds of that? That's probably never happened in history. I'm watching you, Joachim. <laughs> I'm watching so, you. Don't you jinx us, man. I'm just going to put it up here and then just, you know, see what happens and then we'll move down. And then, hey, I'm just saying it's probably never happened before. Never. Uh, never in the history of naval warfare has that uh, ever happened. We're going to... Who are these guys? Is that a rebel war? Is, is that like a rebel? 
like a civil war? Yeah, it's a uh, revolt. Okay, okay. It's fighting, and this is Amisos, right? They are doing their thing. I don't yeah. know. Like, what uh, are we fighting them? We're not, so we can't actually grab that part. But I think we'll just jump straight at the fort. Um, are we actually going to crush the revolt? Or are we going to let them do their thing? I think we'll, we'll just, you know, eat their lands right away and Done. then just keep moving. Done. I don't see any point in uh, waiting for it, basically. Fair. That's so, fair. I think we're going to end our little uh, round with the mercenaries, so we'll have more money to play around with. Back down to 35k. What a world we live in. Oh, this uh, is a bad time to be. Yeah. 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 On the bright side, we didn't seem to lose any ships, though. You remember? It was just a little, you little remember, bit... Uh, you remember when lucky. I said... You remember what I said? You okay? Remember what I said about the Navy battles? Hey, it's probably going to be just fine. I think we'll <laughs> land here now. <clears throat> just for safety's sake, we're just going to land here now from now on. So I might have been, uh, you know, going a little bit bolsy on it, but it's fine. A little overzealous. I must have misslooked them. Yeah, no, exactly. But I'm sure it's going to be all right. What's the worst can happen, right? Um, defeat. Death. That's actually not that bad, because we can usually sort of, um, you know, fix that. Maybe. Yeah, so we now have most of Cappadocia. <clears throat> Oh look! The little little boats are just sailing around out there. I like how they keep popping in and out, just in and out of the the fog. Whoop! Hi, and then leave. Yeah, no, I think. Um... Oh, you're dying. Well, I'm not going to befriend you then. Hey, you dying man! Yes, I'll be your friend. But yeah, no, I think uh, ship battles are really suffering in the game because of that. Because yeah. you sort of, you keep sort of flip flopping back and forth, and people pop in and out of, you know, the, the fogs, and you're just like, it's hard to get any good like, yeah, feeling on it. It's uh, sadly a little oh. bit subpar. Twenty six ships sailing, sailing. Actually, I'm just going to grab. No, I'm just going to keep all of you. Oh. Uh, hello. Yeah, that's sort of why I'm keeping all of them. Uh, hello. Goodbye. I love it when, like, a little tiny army like that, that's like a third your power, pops out, and they're like, Haha, have at the knave! And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good, I guess. Oh, look, 10.7k, right in your way. Yeah. Uh, clarity. Losing a decent amount of... Yes, too. Grab a new... Uh-oh. A new challenger has appeared in the booth. Wait, what? Leader of Monkeys is here. The what now? What? What? I'm Nur so I don't know. Nurgle wants something. I don't know what Nurgle wants. He's gesturing at himself? I don't know. Oh, now he's gesturing at me. Good. Oh, two gestures at me. I'm sure you can imagine what gestures those are, everyone. <laughs> and you'd be right. Uh, I mean, that's nice, though. <laughs> that's how we show affection here around the Paradox office. <clears throat> uh, it might be a marketing thing. I, I don't feel like we show uh, affection that much. Uh, it may be a marketing thing. Among the devs that way. I think I'll just keep that going. Merry Christmas! Here's an obscene gesture. Welcome to marketing! I mean, isn't that nice, though? <laughs> that... Cool. And that's ours. Goodbye! I like how we just, oh. we're just they strolling actually... through Cappadocia. Just strolling through Cappadocia. I think we'll just go down there, then. Ooh, actually do fort. Fort here. Yeah, you'll get, I mean, you won't get much off of that fort. The thing is, though, oh, look, do we allies. actually want more than this? 
Because if the further down we go, the weirder it gets, right? Right. Um, I mean, if we take I that that left sort of... most part of Cappadocia, that'll give us like cutoff points for the Antigonids if we ever have to take them on. You but... mean the next thing we're fighting, probably? Yes, exactly. I didn't want to spoil it for him. I also like how this whole area there's just there's no troops. Just there aren't any at all. Period. It's, uh, it makes things a lot safer. It does. That's for sure. Split up into like little 2k armies and take everything. <laughs> yeah, I could have done this a lot quicker. I just haven't bothered. Oh, look, either. a 1k army. Oh my god. 950. They're starving. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Starve. Like, we can do this, guys. And it's like, no, we can't. They're like, uh, yeah, we, we made a mistake. Oh, they actually got one back. <gasps> well, one. Guess we're sending. Oh, we're not. We're sending you guys. You can stop this. Good for you. Yeah, just completely I mean, lead crush them. Honestly speaking, I would probably be better served actually going down the other routes, but probably. I was like, yeah, now I've sort of committed to this one. I'm Too fine with bad. that. Were there any territories down south, or did we get all the ones down south? I think we grabbed all of them. These are another guy, you know, yeah. this yeah, is yeah. another faction, so... Perfect. Yeah, no. It's just these two and that uh, army up all there. All we got left is the three little territories. Two. Two territories. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, they actually have access to uh, I Army, see. Yeah. All right. yeah. Not that it's going to do them any good, but... You know what? I don't think I bought it. Uh, so... Listen, Fawn, I'll count if I want to. I guess we'll do like this at least. Uh, something like this? Yeah. Count. I like how we don't have any access between our own territories now, though. Hey, we do now. We have boats. Boat access. <sighs> I see Safe what and you, sound. I see what you did there. Um, I'll just do like this, then. And then we sort of have to figure out what way we roll this, right? Right. Uh, alternatively, you probably can't actually... Oh, you do want to be in alliance Woo! with me. I mean, on the bright side... Actually, let's do this first. Build the fort. Put in a governor. Mm. Build some roads. So... Even if we can't get them to actually join us against Antigonids, they at least won't attack us while we're fighting the Antigonids. Right, right, right. So that's pretty reassuring, actually. And as soon as we attack the Antigonids, we can take this fort, right? And that should mean that we have, like, access yeah, across. Exactly. So, what we'll do is... What part do we actually want from the Antigonids? None of uh, it. But, you know, the northern part, probably. Yeah, you probably want this part. Like, you know. Yeah, that. And that one little weird territory between our territory and our other territory to the right. Yeah, that this. One. So, what we can actually do, it's a little bit more expensive, but we can fabricate a claim on just that. I believe that is, yeah. Yeah. Then we can basically grab that pot and then immediately have like the war score go in our favor. I mean, we could do a war with Thrace. It's been long enough. Um, we could, yeah. Oh... Uh... Take that yeah, one little territory up north, crush all this. They're not looking good either. Like they've been No, kind of picked they're on. not. But I, I I don't know. I I sort of don't want to be next to Antigonids without fighting Antigonids. Well, yeah, I'm a little but bit we worried can get on both moment, sides of them. The thing is at the moment I sort of I'm worried that if I move over here, the Antigonids will be like, "Lol, this is free land." And then immediately attack me and then Oh no, you know, Magistrate down. Then I have a bad time, so that's sort of why I've been holding off on doing it. Just focus fire for a little while, see how much we yeah, can get no. before we have to declare peace. <laughs> just see if I can, um, just sort of 
grab this land from right. them, taking it, I guess. This land. And really, yeah, the Antigonids haven't gone to war over here in a while, so that's worrisome. Yeah, they have, like, infinite money. Oh, and potentially also infinite civil war. That would have been really handy for me. Yeah, let's wait for that. I have a bad feeling it's going to disappear before it actually gets there, but, I mean... Well, if it does, then we can declare war anyway. I mean, we haven't lost anything by waiting. Yeah, exactly. So, do I want to be a good guy? Do you? No, sure That's I up to do. you to decide. Lose some popularity, lose money. Compensate the slaves. Who cares about the slaves, though? <clears throat> Who cares about slaves? What a, what a terrible philosophy. Why... Should I grab this area? That seems pointless. No, I don't think we're doing that. Just buy up all of the tundra? This is all our land now. I, like I mean, land. I am, you know, I am Norwegian, right? So... Yeah, exactly. Where did all these people come from? Well, we settled in the tundra. <laughs> That's just how we roll. Just pumping people out of the woods like crazy. All of our pops come from up there. Don't worry about it. Just, you know, it's home to them. Hmm. What sort of mercenaries are have? 13. That is 14. Right. I mean, that would put us in the black again, which would suck. Yeah, it would, but it's not the worst. Let's see. This gives us a constant spell eye. That's handy. Yeah. Yeah. You can take that. Less than 200 days for that fort. Let's go. Down to 100 days. Oh, no, I don't so think close. We're... So close. Once we get those forts, I mean, that's it. That's That's game, right? So. Yeah, I don't think there's any great point in waiting. Yeah. Boom. Board's uh, done. Curiosity. Armenia, how likely are you to join? Not very. Curious, would they join if I just, you know. Called them to arms? Befriended them a little bit. What's the thing I was going to say? Probably not. What about What about Egypt? How's Egypt looking right now? Egypt is looking very Egyptian. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're down from 126. We were at 126. Now it's down to negative 79. So that's nice, at least. Yeah. It has changed substantially. Yeah. If we can get them up above, you know, or uh, down below 60, that would probably turn it in our favor. The thing is, though, how long are we going to wait? Well, I mean, if we had 33 months, we're, you know, we're still a few months out from that. We wanted to wait for that that possible rebellion to happen. How's that rebellion looking? Fifteen, 15 months. months. If we if we influence Egypt right now and Armenia right now, that might give us the edge. I thought we were. Uh... We are. We are. But it's just the more we can do. Yes. I mean, if they go into a civil war the moment we want to attack them, that seems... Opportunity. Ideal. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, yeah, they're a little overpowered right now. Definitely. Hell no, yes. That is fine. Give the rebels money and be like, here! We don't know where it came from either. It's a mystery. I mean, if they accidentally lost money... Oops. It's very nice of us to actually help out and give it back to them, right? right. Yeah, here you go, guys. You dropped this. Glepian wise man. I believe I wrote this event at some point. 
I like how you uh, don't even know anymore. Well, I have a certain inkling, uh, because it's one of the uh, Hellenic religious events that I wrote at some point. But it's, it's like, it's such a long time ago, right? So you're yeah. looking at it, it's just like, yeah, I think I wrote this, but I don't remember actually, you know... The exact wording. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And let's see how this turns out for you guys. Bad. Real bad. I mean, this looks... That's beautiful. That is a that is a thing of actual beauty, right there. And the fun thing is, the revolt only has twenty three troops, right? We are just gonna crush that whole northern and area. They hold all the areas that we want. Exactly. Basically. Hello. I think Hello. This I don't even want to call in Armenia for this one. Yeah, I don't want to mean it's not taking my area. That's several ridiculous. So I think we're just going to go straight for the forts. Yeah, just crush their forts and call them our own. Exactly. Mosburn Kingdom gets axe. We don't care about. This. Yes, indeed. Merry Civil War, everyone. We made it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, we're also in five times speed. This is going to go and... real interesting. I think we'll just turn that down. What? Four. Why? You don't want to watch the world burn really fast? No, not that fast. Not not five times as fast as it was. You know what? Importing stuff from Egypt seems like a good way to go about it, really. That is, Wait, yeah. oh, I have not noticed, but I'm at max political influence. You are. Well, that's awkward. Uh, the cool thing about that, though, where is it? There it is. I was thinking, how about we make some holy sites? Holy sites. I don't have any idea why I just did that with a headphone cord, but here we are. Holy <laughs> sites. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. A little punchy on a Wednesday. Nope, no big deal. No big deal. I mean, I think that's fine. So, I think we'll just make it to you. And Lovely. Lovely. Fort. And... Influenced zones. Goodbye. Good day. That fixes at least some of the influence. Yeah, no joke. I think we'll just grab some there. And there nice. we go. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful. So the question is, do we want to go for that fort or that fort? That one. Let's go for that one first. That way it's a harder time for them to get up to the coast, to get to us. Yeah, and it feels like it's more impactful yeah. sort of where we are at the moment. Yep. We can also... Uh, we don't have the money now to hire those mercs, but... like Antignus, I'm not fighting you guys, I'm helping. Sort Look, of. I have helped you with your rebellion. The question is, where do. is their capital, though? God, I don't know. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, it's over it here. Is. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it's quite far from All business. Right. That's actually very nicely away from us. Oh, man. What a my, what a lovely tea party. Couldn't have asked for a better better rollout than that. Oof. No, I, we literally could not have asked for much more than this. Why don't you guys have any food? Have you? Don't you? Oh, you don't have any? Donkey. What did I tell you about donkeys? Told you about the donkeys last time. Hey, we're working on it. We are doing the donkey <sighs> thing. Donkey army yep. or no army. Ooh, 34k mercs. That's good. Stay down there, guys. You just stay down there. Oh no, barbarians! <laughs> uh, They're still that's there. Like the worst way of pronouncing that. <laughs> You're so welcome, <laughs> barbarians. Uh, yeah. No. Oh god. Um. <laughs> You guys will probably just grab the food. Oh, you're not grabbing the food from that, are yes, you? Yes, Barber Ian's of the uh, 
of the of the noble tribe of Barbarii. You might want to take those mercs. Yeah, if you grab I that. did. Um, if you want to grab those mercs, now would probably be the time. Think these guys. Yeah, just to grab that coast and then disband. It's going to cost us, but that might get us that coast. It's going to cost us, but it's going to also give us the coastline. That's fine. I can live with that. Wait. Why can't I... There we go. Dink. Dink. Quickly, men. Oh, no. Our magistrate died again. Oh. Got one of them. Yeah, we did, but not enough of them. Um... Now, wait, hold on. Who's that... Who's that fighting next to you? Oh, they're fighting uh, Heraclea Pond. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, okay. Just declare war on them, too. You know, they're not a big nation. We could have no. sort of just... Crush them. These are ours now. The thing is, I don't really have any claims on them. How long would that take? March. That's a year. No, that's actually two years. That's too long. Yeah, no. We don't have two years. No, we don't have um, We have weeks, maybe. So, what we'll do is that we'll grab this, if we can. Uh, nope. No. Can I actually... <laughs> There's just a, a pile of people on this territory. So, we got all of these areas. Yep, call it. Can we call it? Let's try and call it. They don't want to. They're one away from giving us this area, basically. That's not... Well, time to crush them. Or try. So, where can I go and crush them? That's the question now. Well, so I if think you we'll get just... that one territory, you can get everything that's around you. There's just a cluster of dudes. My goodness, that's a lot of dudes right there. But... I think we'll just uh, pull our troops a little bit back. Then we'll see if uh, they change their mind. Because the months of war is slowly ticking away, right? So yeah, as time passes, we should have... Uh, well, you also have that one little territory down there to the south. See it? This? No, the one to the right and up. They're, they're marching on it right now. Oh no, that one. This one? Yeah. Oh, I see. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, our, oh, thank you, allies. Thank you, allies, for once. Nice, 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 nice. Um, we're not paying that. Yes, Fawn. That's... Dudes is the official term. Hold on. Let me ask one of the one of the the, the devs of the game. Joachim, is dudes the official term? Oh, yeah. But it's Same. always really bad. You heard it here, folks. Dudes is the official term. Oh, man. Yeah, now you have, like, uh, dudes, and then you have, like, dude horse. They may t Let's see if they'll take peace now, because we are at 23. They will let us have this part if we want to. We probably can Works. grab that much more. Oof. Wait, what? Oh, it bugged up. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Grab that fort. So we take... can grab that. Can we... So we can do like this, if you want to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> that's not the worst deal out there. Wait, get the top right, too. See if we can get the top right. Oh, yeah, that's actually true. We can. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Then we have a little bit more land. Yeah. Oh man, I didn't even see that Antigone re Revolt on the bottom right. Yeah, this part. Woof. Yeah, no, they're going through a rough... They're having a bit of a rush path. Things is, things is not going well. For them. Sure, they're fighting, though. They're fighting a Everyone. lot of people. Everyone. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, they're fighting these Armenia and everyone, so... They're um they're not doing great. No. But we got a lot of land out of it, so we did. We actually ended up having um getting a decent amount of what we wanted. Now we can we can also 
fabricated a claim against Heraclea. Yeah, no, we really should grab Heraclea. There's no reason for them to exist, to no. be honest. No. Sorry, there's no reason for them to exist independently. Right, yes. They can still continue to live their lives and pursue their culture as Bosporans. Yes, dude hort is indeed the official term. Dude horts, you heard That's it. That's like a group of dudes. Yeah, one dude, several dudes, many groups of dudes become a dude hort. Yes. Got it. A legion of dudes. Who are you? You actually have a decent amount of power base. That little guy? Don't worry about that little guy. But I don't care. Who, you know, who minds civil wars anyways? Yeah. I think we'll just bribe you out of it. I'll do it early because the last time I was like, okay, I'll wait for like, yeah. you know. Um, Did not go well for us last time. Doesn't the War Council give you free claims? It does, in theory, if I had that mission. Oh, you mean the actual War Council? The, um, where is it? The This thing. I had completely forgotten that was a thing. Shame. Hmm. Shame on you. Shame on your cow, Joachim. I mean, a free claim on... Actually, do I want to? No, I don't care about you. It's fine. Uh, we are playing the Bosporan Kingdom currently. Yes, we are. The mighty so... eats half of the Black Sea Bosporan Kingdom. We're basically a big purple. Yeah. We're fighting Oof. the... <laughs> I'm taking it now. Everything looks terrible. It does. But that's alright. Losing hasn't ever hurt anyone. Oh. Except for the losers. Except for the losers, sadly. Oh, man. Stupid Antigonin. Ruining our I fun. Mean... It's to be expected. It happens. How? How rude. I mean, I did say it earlier, right? I was worried that as soon as I actually entered a wall with the Trace, they would just jump like, straight at me. That's free real estate. And they did. Yeah. F. F to pay respects for us. Oh, Fawn just now noticed that I'm in my Christmas suit. God. Look Which is very different from your birthday suit. It is true. That is true. This one has a tie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, true. That is true. So, what is actually that they want to grab? Cappadocia, Sarah. Everything. It is this place. It's this place. Yep. All right. I guess they didn't like that little fort in the middle of their territories either. I don't think they did. Oh, hey, at least we're at a positive war score right now. That'll change quickly, I'm afraid. Yeah. I have no faith that that's going to stick around for too long. No, me either. On the bright side, we do actually have a decent amount of troops. Ah, yes, there. our ships. Really... Our ships are dead. Uh, I think we'll just ask you guys to return home. Come on, let me let me retreat. No, nope. no, there you go. Pitful our guy <sighs> Right, he um Oh, that's too bad for him. God, there are a lot of troops around us. My are you kidding goodness. me? Goodness. Oh my Christ. Yeah, there's a lot of troops around us right now, sir. Hmm. How am I getting out of this one? How them that's is, me out of that one? I'm probably not. That's 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 it. That's I think we'll just carefully pull back. And then we'll just, you know, see if we can get to the other side, which we can't, which nope. is going to kill me. Rip. Rip. Um, Rip. Let's see. See to Byzantium. Then let's try and get across. Probably not. Then we're going to die. And dead. Yeah, that's oh, too look, late. Oh, reinforcements. Too late. Yep. I think we'll just pull back. This is suboptimal. Hey, hey, guess what? 
Hey, guess what, Joachim? It's the end of the uh, stream, isn't it? That's about the end of the stream for us. Uh, make sure Nurgle's paying attention. Yeah, that's just about the, the end of the stream for us. We, uh... We ended in a terrible spot. <laughs> Hooray! Merry Christmas! So, yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit of a tough spot. Um... But mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll figure it out. We will. we will. Possibly by just handing the Antigonids a lot of territory. Yeah. Um, so for those yeah, of you yeah. that are watching, just a reminder, uh, this is the end of our holiday streaming schedule. We will not be back until next year, um, probably mid to late January. Um, please pay attention to announcements. We will post as soon as we have a better schedule. Uh, DD's streams and news are going to be uh, halted for the end of the year. Uh, we will be back, like I said, mid to late January with DD's streams, more videos, all the good stuff. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you are, you know, enjoying your holidays. Thank you so much for joining us for this year. It has been a a heck of a ride. I know I speak for half the team at least. Um, the other half can speak for themselves in the form of Joachim. Um, no, we all agree. It's been a yeah. Yeah, it's been a it's been a it's been a year, man. But Joachim, thank you so much for joining me, as usual, buddy. Uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been a fun road, fun year, um, fun year. Uh, there have been fun parts too this year. It's been an interesting year, to say the least. It'll but, be memorable. Yeah, exactly. It's something to tell our kids about in the future, um, as they say. But in the meantime, thank you all for joining us. I uh, hope you have a good week, and we'll catch you soon. Happy holidays, everyone.